Hello, this is Bern, and if you feel like you've been focusing a little too much on finding that explosive, life-changing moment when you first meet a man and it's not happening, well, stick around because I'm going to be sharing with you what beyond passion is incredibly important to focus on as you look to find sustainable, lifelong partnership with a man. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern, and welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition. Get the love you crave. As I mentioned a little earlier, I get so many emails and messages and contact with women who are very focused on experiencing this life changing, ocean sparting, uh, stars shining all at once, rainbows coming out of unicorns when they connect to a guy and they haven't found that fullness of passion yet and they are feeling like they're missing out on love. What I want to share with you right now is three virtues and values that are significantly <laughs> more important to focus on in addition to passion, not saying in spite of passion, but in addition to passion when you're interested in creating a lifelong partnership with a human being. The first virtue that is incredibly powerful to focus on and it's not sexy and it doesn't feel exciting to focus on it is patience. And I know it's a, you want to punch me basically when you hear this because you're saying, I want it now, man. Like I've been waiting for this guy for so long. You're telling me about patience. I don't want any more patience. I want to find my guy today. But here's the thing. It requires patience with yourself as you forgive yourself for any mistakes you've made in the past. It requires patience with the process as you step into day in and day out, putting yourself out there to connect with a human being that can be compatible and exciting and loving towards you in a way that you feel stands the test of time. It requires patience with not just you and the process with him. Why? Because he's going to make mistakes and he's going to say stupid things and he's going to unwillingly hurt you in ways that you'll need to just really be patient with him if you want to create a long-term partnership with him. Right? That's the first virtue. Most people don't talk about it because it's not sexy, it doesn't sound fun, it's just a basic thing in the back of the mind of most people. And if you're focused on that shiny object, patience is the last thing you focus on, but patience creates sustainable results. Second virtue that's incredibly important for you to focus on, and it's an art, it's not just a science, and that is forgiveness. Why? Because it's impossible, my dear, to create a long-term fulfilling relationship with a human being, with a man in, this, in your case, if you're not willing to forgive him. Now, I'm not talking about he beats you up, you forgive him and, and, and stay there. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about forgiveness when it's not something that violates your every rule and, and moral, but it's something that happens in life. Sometimes figuring out ways to forgive yourself, forgive him, and for him to forgive you is incredibly important in creating that long-term passion, passionate and sustainable relationship. Why? Because I think the vast majority of human beings have an illusion about what love is. There is, and I'll tell you more about this. Think, think about this. There is nothing sexy about your partner's feeling sick and vomits next to you and cleaning up the vomit after he does that. There's nothing sexy about it. There's nothing sexy about making a tea when that person's not feeling well. There's nothing sexy about hearing that person complain about a situation at work that you have no control over and they don't want to do anything about, but you, sometimes they need to vent and you're the preferred partner in that moment for them to vent with, right? Uh, there's nothing sexy about somebody feeling unsure about themselves and you feeling, well, if you're unsure about you and what does that say about me? And I can standing in your truth, in your naked truth in front, in front of that moment that will happen at some point in your relationship. So there's a lot of things that aren't sexy. They're not flashy, they're not tantric, they're not necessarily full of passion, but they do create a relationship that is incredibly fulfilling and rich, and a relationship that is full of unconditional love and also safety, right? Because you really have to manage both of those extremes. You want a lot of excitement, there's less safety. You want a lot of safety, there's less excitement. You have to be willing to manage both of those things, excitement and safety. Because if you don't, if you feel like you can have extreme safety and extreme passion, you're bullshitting yourself. It's, you need to be able to manage both. At different times in your life, you'll have different interests and different wants. So both of you need to be able to talk about how much passion, excitement, and how much security you need, and how to navigate both waters with grace. 
The third virtue that's incredibly important to navigate that's also not sexy and also super underrated is vulnerability with your partner. Vulnerability to express your heart. Vulnerability to, to state what you want. Vulnerability to say, yes, help me please. Vulnerability to say no. Vulnerability to say, ah, I'm scared, but I still want to do this. Vulnerability to say, I'm scared and I don't want to do it. Vulnerability to say, I thought this way two years ago and now I think differently and, I, and it's still me. It's still a human being that you, that you love. That creates vulnerability. So my message to you is simple today. As you think about and put emphasis on passion and aliveness and excitement and butterflies in your stomach, which are absolutely essential, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't feel them, put some emphasis onto other virtues that don't feel as immediately gratifying or sexy, but that create the possibility for you to have a long-term relationship, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, that is not just based on some magic, that is based on substance and love and friendship. If you find this is meaningful, useful and insightful in some way, my dear, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, the first line, first link of the description of this video, if you click on this link, it will take you to a page that has a yellow bar. Click on the yellow bar, enter your name and email, and you'll be immediately directed to a webinar and a presentation that I have for you, a masterclass that will share with you how to step into the most fulfilling relationship of your life in less time than your current trajectory. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.